that main stage right there is about to be Jason David Frank and David Yost. So definitely, I hope you guys enjoy it. I actually filmed the entire panel, so enjoy it. Are we to have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers here today? Yeah! Yeah! You guys look awesome, I love it. All right, let's bring out your moderator. You've probably seen him throughout the weekend. He's awesome. His name is Austin Romero, otherwise known as Mike Rome from the WWE. Come on out here, Austin! What's Give going on in LA Comic Con? Yeah. Are you pumped? Oh, man. Are you pumped? Off? I'm super pumped. You're super I'm pumped. <laughs> You're crazy. Give it up for her, man. She's been killing it the last couple Woo! days. Woo! See, you guys are all decked out here. I love this. I love all this. All the shirts and the cosplay. You guys, yeah. you guys look phenomenal. You guys ready to get to this uh, Power Rangers panel here with these two lovely human beings? I know you guys watched it like I did. Grew up with it. In the 90s, whether you wanted to be the Red Ranger, or the Green Ranger, or the Blue Ranger, it doesn't matter. You wanted to be a Power Ranger. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to bring out the men here right now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to introduce them one by one. Ladies and gentlemen, he was known as the Blue Ranger. Yeah! Billy Cranston. Please welcome David Yost! Yeah! And last but not least... You know him as the green, the white, the red, black, the list goes on and on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jason David Frank, also known as Tommy! been busy how's your week been so far Dave uh, yesterday it was amazing it was great we had a lot of people here thank you all uh, you know we're totally indebted to you guys so we thank you so much for being uh, diehard fans of Power Rangers all these years without people like you thank you without people like you we would not be who we are so thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of our hearts what is it I concur I concur I concur <laughs> no for real guys we really want to thank you uh, we appreciate it I know I'd like to thank all the Power Rangers around the world who are promoting the brand, uh, who Hasbro has not reached out and said thank you. So on behalf of Hasbro, <laughs> I would like to say thank you to all the yeah. Rangers, keeping Power Rangers alive. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome, Hasbro. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm so excited to be here. Uh, thank you guys for all the cosplay. I, I run into so many people that uh, with Davio's affirmative uh, clothing line, I, I can't yeah. tell you. Everywhere I go, I always take a picture and I see his clothes everywhere, which is pretty pretty brilliant. So anyway, thank you. Good job in there. <laughs> I like it. You dropped a lot of stuff there in like a in like a very short period of time. Now we have a very short period of time here, so uh, instead of me just sitting here and going back and forth with you guys, I want to give you guys a chance to ask some questions. Do we have any questions out there? Either you got one over on this side or on this side. You already have you have one. Okay, cool. Uh, hi guys, big fan. Um, Grew up watching you guys. Uh, my question for you guys is, how does it feel for you to like the legacy that you guys left behind for us kids like me? I'm 22, grew up watching you guys when I was like 10, right after the 90s, and you guys pretty much were my heroes and all that. How does it feel for you guys to see the legacy you guys left, the impression you guys left for kids like me and the whole wide world? <laughs> Obviously, uh, thank you for your question. It's, it's a great question, and we get asked it quite a bit. Where are they? It's over here. Uh, it's, it's actually extremely humbling, uh, because when we started this TV show almost 30 years ago, which is really scary to say, uh, you know, we could, never, we could never have predicted how popular the show would become. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just been so amazing to see the popularity continue to grow, especially for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the original cast, uh, over all these years. So it's, it's extremely humbling and it's an honor. Uh, it's a little weird to be told that we're icons or legends, you know, like, you know, I take it to heart and I know that we try to be better people for you guys because, you know, you, you got so much out of Power Rangers and you got into martial arts and you became scientists, doctors, gymnasts, all kinds of amazing things. And so that's, uh, that's really an honor to be a part of that, to know that our characters somehow shaped the human beings that you are. So I, I don't take it lightly. So again, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I 
think Dave has, has hit all the points. Uh, you guys are old enough, you know, after 20 years, everything becomes a classic, right? You have a car in your garage, it's like 17 years old, who cares? All of a sudden it's 20 years and it becomes something, just like stocks or anything else. The Power Ranger brand, the reason why I think is because you all can express yourself now as being older. A lot of people were told not to watch Power Rangers because it was violent, this and that. We had to always protect the brand. Violence was created before television shows, and if we all just go with, with our heart and who we are, then I think the world would be a better place. And if we're happy to have an imprint on the world because you're old enough to express yourself now of how how the stories change. And, and I was with my daughter and someone said the same thing, like, you guys inspire me to be a better dad. And I went, eh, I gotta be a better dad. But uh, it's reminders and, and being a legend or saying that, it just means we're getting older. You know what I mean? Like, Stan Lee, you're a legend. It's like, oh no. Oh, you're getting higher rank, you know, become a 10 degree black belt. Oh no, it's the end. But uh, but no, we, we really appreciate it to making an imprint, making an imprint in the world because of you guys, it really means a lot. And I can sit here with Dave and vouch for him all day long. It, it really, he really takes it to heart and I do too. We don't take it lightly. So we love your stories and we appreciate you for making, making us better people. For sure. You're saying too is like when you say like we're icons or legends these days when you guys come to our tables I don't know if you've gotten this yet, but people will say oh, I found your toy in an antique store <laughs> Yeah, well, that, hey, it's that better one, than that a sale one. box <laughs> well, yeah, too. You know we used to go through your toy was on sale and we're like uh -huh. Now it's like an antique and now they're you know at the antique store Yeah, yeah but now they're at the antique store worth more money than yeah. being in the sale box but uh, no, it's funny, antique. Don't say that to Don't us. Don't say that to us. <laughs> no antiques here. All right, what else we got? Hello? Oh, hi. Uh, just want to say long time fan. Thank you for coming to Los Angeles Comic Con. Love you guys. Um, besides playing the characters you were already playing on television, uh, Teenagers with Attitude, did you guys also either voice any of the monsters or dress up as putties? Tangas, pods. No, question. I didn't, but I do remember when they were making noises like putty, it was like, it's like <laughs> all right. And I remember we did shift in turbo, and then I just said, oh, we're gonna do a turn a car, and that became, she was doing turbo. But uh, <laughs> I didn't do any voices or anything like that. They probably would have made us do almost everything at that point, um, but. Uh, I, I haven't done anything like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think any of the main cast, I mean, maybe I think Walter might have done a voice of like one of the, uh, like, a, like a one or two line for some obscure character, but I don't think any of us really got to do that. So, but that's a great question. I've never been asked that before, so thank you. Do you want a follow up to that? If, if, if you could be anything else in that show, if you had a chance to go back and do something else in that show, would you or would you stay in your same characters? No, what if your aunt was your uncle? <laughs> it's a whole different kind of problem. <laughs> but what, but what ifs I, I don't like in life because I don't think we would be where we're at if we had a chance to go back in life because I live today and I kind of want to live into the future. We get asked that question a lot and I, I mean it'd be like that but I wouldn't change who I am and what I've gone through in life because it made me stronger and, I, and we talk a lot about mental health. It's okay to have that. We just have to work through it and push through it. It makes me a stronger person. It really, truly does. That's just for me. I, and, and I love, I don't want his role. He has too many hardcore lines. He had the most ridiculous lines in the movie. I couldn't pronounce even half of them. I can't even say half of them to today. What was your hardest line? I don't, I mean, there was a lot of hard lines, but my favorite line is a fully sentient, multifunctional automaton. How prodigious. <laughs> And he would nail that in one take, and I'm sitting there going, and I'm saying, I'm trying to say in, in forever, forever red, I'm trying to say sea of tranquility, and I'm saying sea of tranquility, and everybody kept laughing at me, and I was trying to say museum, museum, museum. I'm stuck, those are my words I'm practicing. So every time I, I today, sea of tranquility, it felt good to say that. Thank you very Nailed much. Nailed it. Yeah. Come so far. We have one on that side. <laughs> Hey guys, big fans. Um, I have a really cool question. Uh, Can you speak in a little, little closer? A little closer? 
Okay. Hey guys. Um, big question. So right now there's this trend of old actors coming back and revising their movies. For example, you know the new Flash movie. Michael you just said old. You're about to get beat up. He didn't say antique though. He didn't original. say antique. It don't matter. Old antique. Just originals, all right? Originals. All right. So originals are coming back, rewriting the roles. Michael Keaton's coming back as Batman. There's rumors of the Spider-Man coming back in this new Spider movie. If given the chance, would you guys ever come back and re re just come back as the Power Rangers in a future film or future TV show ever again? If given the opportunity. Well, he could fit in spandex, and I can too. But the question is, if. If, yes. And if they, it was Hasbro awkward, should have do done something like Cobra Kai, and it could have handled the whole situation, but they didn't. So there's a lot of rumors out there. I, it has to be good. It don't have to be something. Dave was writing something that I think Hasbro should really look at that involves some of the originals. And there's no better person to write a story than the guy coming from inside the story. And so that's what, I don't know if he's working on it. He better put me in there, but, but what I'm saying is that's, that's, what he, he would, he, that's what he would tell me and talk about. I don't know if that's still going or... Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, I've been developing a, a reunion, 30-year reunion series. Uh, it's a limited series. Yeah. You just said 30. It's just a number. Uh, it's just a number. But it's, it's a limited eight episode series to begin with. And, uh, you know, it involves the original six uh, Rangers. And that includes Trini. So it revolves around Woo! all of our characters. And uh, it includes Bulk and Skull as where, well. Woo! And where we're yep. at. And, uh, you know, uh, we have a new villain that comes in that's uh, infiltrating Earth. And it's up to the original Rangers to uh, take this on. Because we're the only people that can save planet Earth. I mean, that's... Just the base. Uh, I can't really get into all the specifics, but every character is in it. Uh, and you're like reboot or like really me, uh, Tommy. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, so and, and, and that's 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 look. That's what you need is you need fans. Even with Bat and the Sun, he's a fan. Aaron Shanky. We know what fans want, and and there's no better person to do that. Now, if David did something like that, of course, I'm going to say yes. The only way that we get lost is what David just said. It's just a number. And we become just a number in movies and everything else. Nobody believes in you. Nobody believes in you until you can show the numbers. I don't want the numbers. I want y'all hearts. And I want to be part of someone that knows exactly what the fans want. That's it. So that would be my answer. Be yes. If David wrote something. Yes. All right, with that said, is there anything they can do to help that along? I mean, certainly. I mean, the, the, the title is called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Quantum Continuum. So, uh, so it's got to be such a hard word that I can't even say. <laughs> two, two hard words. Quantum Continuum. You got time to work on it. Quantum Continuum. Quantum Continuum. So, uh, and, you know, you can just work, just hashtag Quantum Continuum and then, uh, you know, tag Hashbro. I, I can't say too much, but I, I will let you know that I've had talks. So things are out there, at least talking wise, and uh, I would, I really hope uh, that I can get it to come to fruition. Uh, I know most of the actors sort of know about it, but without them signing an NDA, I can't really discuss too, ma too much about it. I didn't sign nothing. I know. I, I just spilled the beans. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, but I really hope that we would have your guys' support. I think you would really like it. Uh, again, it's, it's about the original Rangers coming back together as a team. There's a lot of drama in it. I say it's like Riverdale meets Star Trek meets Power Rangers. So there's a lot of, uh, all of that in there. Well, it's about time go. someone smart steps up to the table, and there's no better person than David Yost because he did play Billy with all those hard lines. So hashtag Billy with the hard lines. Hashtag, please, hashtag what? Quantum continuum. All right, hashtag me so I know how to spell that, then I'll hashtag it. That's right, you guys, use your voice for that. We want to see that happen. Thank you. Got another one over there? Uh, first of all, thank you so much for coming. Uh, before the Avengers, before anyone else, you guys were at least my first uh, group of superheroes. I think I can speak for everyone here. I was born yeah. in the 90s. And it's really emotional to see you guys on stage right now. It's, it's incredible. So I was going to ask if you were planning a reunion, but 
there you go. We'll, we'll support that as, as, for as much as we can. Uh, at that point, I want to ask, was there any moment you remember as a bonding moment while you were filming or like the first or the funniest or the most heartwarming bonding moments you had and you realized you were somewhat of a group, somewhat of a team? I mean, there, there's a lot. I mean, I mean uh -oh. there, there, there's a lot. But I mean, I, I think with the uh, original cast, uh, you know, I've gone back and I've rewatched all the uh, original episodes during quarantine because I was bored and I wanted to write this uh, reunion and I really wanted to try to remember everything. But like, if you go back and you watch the first season, there certainly is a, a charm and an innocence about it because we filmed almost the entire first season without it even airing, so we had no way of knowing how popular it was gonna become or anything like that. So I just think that whole first season uh, with the original cast, we were like brothers and sisters and we were really connected and uh, we Wait, did, we Kimberly did. was my sister? <laughs> <laughs> that changes the whole story. Real life. Off, off screen, yeah. So, uh, but anyways, we had to deal with that every day. And, uh, but he, he's a jokester, so there's there's plenty of great great memories that I'm sure that we all have. But I, for me, the entire first season was just so much fun filming, and uh, and then when we became the number one kids show, not only in America but throughout the world, you know, our lives uh, got put on a different trajectory, and it's uh, been an awesome ride ever since. So we still bond, uh, and we still have all these amazing experiences together because now we get to travel. We were in Belgium together. We get to travel all over the world uh, and meet you guys and meet fans of Power Rangers. So it's it's truly, we never stop bonding. Yeah. And you know what? I'm very proud of being the number one show in the world. And it's because before social media, you understand? That was before social media. We had to like typewrite stuff. You know, when they interviewed, we'd have to fly and go talk to them in person. And everyone was like, oh, those watches are so cool. I wish I had a communicator watch. Like I said, we were the first Apple watches. Apple stole our ideas. You know what I mean? and, uh, and Billy's come up in his character with a lot of things I'm sure that the world has stole today. But um, anyway, yeah, we continue bonding. It's great to have social media and texting. And, and uh, my dad don't like texting. He says, it's like writing a letter. And I'm like, it's not. Because writing a letter takes more effort. But whatever. I'll call him now. He doesn't text. <laughs> All right, next question. Hey, Jason, so I heard you're a hanshi in uh, karate. And I was wondering, while you were filming the show, did you uh, show the other actors some moves? And uh, can you actually do a karate kata form right now on stage? Uh, I, you know, I wish I could. I got very slippery shoes on. But uh, it, the, as in, in rip my pants and drag and dagger, all this other stuff might happen. Um, I got tight jeans, but uh, that was an inside joke, some of y'all might not get. But uh, yes, I, I am an A3 black belt in martial arts. I think the proudest uh, moment was that when I was riding in the car with Chuck Norris. And uh, Chuck is like the A3 black belt as well, but he's also a 10th in, in other styles. And we had this talk, and I'm, I was older, right? And he said, Jason, you know, my career didn't start until I was 50. And that's really true. His career didn't take off until he was 50. So that's what motivated me and drove me and drove me to do my own movie, The Legend of the White Dragon, is because I felt, I hearing it from Chuck Norris, sitting in a car with Chuck Norris, someone I grew up with, and uh, it was amazing. This guy has helped me with backflips, gymnastics, all that stuff. I've never done that stuff in my life. People see it, I'm like, oh, okay, backflip, I'll try. Nowadays, I'm thinking, hmm, I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> but I've never done gymnastics before, so he would help me with, and Amy, flips, front flips, back flips, back handsprings. I'm telling you, the day I started in my life, I've never done it. I see him, tush, 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 and I say, oh man, Tommy's gotta do something. Like, help me, Dave, and Dave would help me and spot me, so he taught me a lot. And then I think just showing back and forth certain things, we all helped each other. And uh, karate's been a big part of my life. It's the way of life, it taught me discipline, and uh, it's still to this day is a big part of it. But if it wasn't for Dave and Amy helping me with flips, I probably wouldn't be here right now. I'd be landing on my head. 
And, and to be fair, before uh, you know, we before we even started filming, we were rehearsing for like a month before we started filming, and Jason got cast. And he came in to hang out with us, and he honestly uh, stepped up to the plate and helped Amy, Joe, and I so much. I can remember him putting us through, you know, some of the moves, just simple moves like kicking our legs over chairs, just so we would get into the motion of, uh, you know, learning how to kick. But then I got in trouble because I remember Haim Saban, the original creator of Power Rangers, came in and saw what I was doing as Billy, and he got upset because Billy looked like he knew how to fight, and he just did not want Billy to know how to fight, so Aww. I had to stop. Well, that's what you get, training with me, too bad, Saban. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, but we helped each other. It was one of those things where it was great, so. Yeah. Here we go. So I really appreciate what you're saying, Jason. <laughs> What's that? I'm actually a Yondon from Pasadena. Okay. Yeah, so, so great, thank you for saying that. That's we'll awesome. We'll we'll all right, we have time for one more question right over here. Last question. Hi. Okay, so I'm here today because my boyfriend, Eric Kinzer, he wasn't able to make it because he wasn't feeling well, but this was the day that he really wanted to come out and see you guys. We're in our mid-30s, <laughs> so we remember the OG Power Rangers. We love you guys. We remember dressing up for Halloween and not wanting to take off our costumes. You know, I just kind of wanted to know how you guys feel to know all these years later that us, the older generation, not only do we still love you, but we're also teaching our children to appreciate Truth. the OG Rangers. Truth. You're, you're very smart parents. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. I mean, they yeah, I mean, obviously, again, that's very humbling, and it's such an honor, and it's, you know, to see little kids that are now like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all those years, you guys are being great parents by introducing them to the originals, and I'm always surprised to hear how many young kids actually find the original Power Rangers on their own on Netflix, and they really, yeah, it's really mind-blowing, and they still relate to that, that series more than any of the new ones, so... Obviously, it's a huge honor, and uh, we appreciate and are so grateful for you and your husband. And I'm sorry that he couldn't be here today. Make sure you tell him that we said hello. We're saying hi to you, Eric. What's your husband's name? Eric? You should be rolling your camera. I hope you are. <laughs> okay. Hey, you Eric. Are? Yeah. Big shout out. Eric, you said? Eric. Big shout out, Eric. Sorry you couldn't be here, man. We love you. But uh, it, it's, it's for me and Dave, I think it's mind blowing. When these kids come up, every time I see, I go, kids, 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 like I have news. It's, it's happening all over again. So it takes us back being younger because we think, oh, that's you. But in reality, you're you and your parents watch us. So we got three different generations. That's why oh, networks right. have to listen and not look at numbers, but listen to what fans want with original cast members like Cobra Kai. It's simple. It's a no-brainer, you know what I mean? That's right, and you gotta use the hashtag. We're gonna we're gonna make this thing happen. Thank you. Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Quantum Continuum. Boom, let's hashtag that. So right. I'm not gonna get the same trap as you're not gonna try to sit in. <laughs> I'm not. But uh but but uh I'll I'll definitely do that. But I, I am doing I'm not trying to talk, but I am doing the Legend of the White Dragon. We'll talk a little bit more about that. The trailer will drop Thursday all over the world on comicbook.com at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, you can go there on Thursday to watch the trailer. It's really uh, it's a universe that I'm proud of, and I think a universe that drove me to, to have some kind of control over it. And I think that's what drove Dave, is to have some kind of control for the fans, because we know what fans want. I mean, it was a great acting experience. Michael Madsen played my dad. Mark Dacostas is in it. David Ramsey from Arrow, uh, you know, he's in it. Uh, and it's just a great movie. And Jenna's not here because she's sleeping at the hotel, but she's in it. And uh, I've had nothing, and I tell everyone this. Dave's such a good friend of mine. And also, when it comes to the business, he, it's, it's, he supports me in anything I do. Just like Amy Jo. I sent her a voice text. It was like, Amy, I'm so happy for her direct Superman. I just had a text her today and go, did you listen to my message? Because I just poured out my heart and you didn't get back to me in two days. <laughs> God, she was directing. I was so happy with her, so happy for her directing. And it's always been, I'd say us three, just because the way things worked and so we bonded. So I'm so happy for her to direct. I'm so happy for Dave to do what he's doing. And uh, you know, just, just proud to be here and be a superhero, man. Because we were almost made fun of at one point when the show first came out. 
I auditioned for the Green Ranger, not the Red. It was just one of those things where I was came into these guys, and it was so I was so excited, and I was I was going to die. I say that in a nice way. The Green Ranger is supposed to leave, and it was okay. I just wanted to do the best I could. But uh, you know, Dave taught me a lot, and even Amy, as an actress, I'd walk in her room. She was writing all her history down. I'm like, "What are you doing?" She's like, "I'm writing my backstory." Can be hard. She's where she's from and all that. I'm like. Well, that's cool. I just went out and hit my mark. You know what I mean? It set my line. So what's your backstory on that? Nothing. But uh, with The Legend of the White Dragon, I, I dug deep and, and dug a backstory. And that, that was really, uh, truthfully, from Dave and Amy, just watching them, you know, act. It's not easy with the lines that we have on Power Rangers. So a lot of times, like, oh, you're doing Power Rangers. Like, let me see you be cheesy. Because it's not easy. <laughs> and kids love cheese. Let's face it. You right? It's not easy being cheesy. Look, two great projects to look forward to. Legend of the White Dragon, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Quantum Continuum. Yeah. Guys, make sure you guys support that. David, Jason, thank you guys for coming out here. Give it up for a